All right, all right, all right. It is a great day in South Florida, and we are doing big things, getting stuff done. And as you can see, the, uh, oh, well, I don't know that it necessarily speaks for itself, but there is uh, my AC repair guy. Uh, the air conditioner in one of our units stopped working last night, which meant the master bedroom uh, was very, very hot. And uh, the one thing that you don't want to experience when living in South Florida is a home with no AC um, or a broken AC. Uh, it is very hot in South Florida. And what's today? Today's April. Oh, I don't even know. Uh, it's Sunday. I think it's April 5th ish. Maybe it's the 4th. I don't know. But um, but yeah, last night the AC broke. And, um, and thankfully, we've got um, relationships with tremendous uh, vendors and service people and, and all those kind of things and become friends with them. So uh, fortunately, uh, on Sunday morning at 8 a.m., uh, it's a little bit later than that now, uh, we've got our AC getting uh, repaired and fixed and hopefully not, <laughs> hopefully not replaced because... Uh, that's certainly more pricey than um, just a repair, but but nonetheless, um, you're gonna need those things too, right? So if you ever need a, uh, a trusted uh, vendor, or service person, or really anything as it relates to a home, um, we got your back, right? Um, and these are people that we know, like, trust, do a phenomenal job, and uh, and can vouch for, and, um, and those are important relationships to have no matter where you live, right? And uh, so if you are, you know, in the South Florida area, then we definitely know people, no matter what it is. So a lot of times we have people who are buying uh, homes that need work and uh, need contractors and need uh, GCs and need whatever it might be. And, um, and we've always got those people uh, readily available and uh, they do a tremendous job. Buyer beware, you do not want to uh, just be uh, you know, Googling, <clears throat> it's far more, it's far better for you to, um, to reach out and get somebody that we've used in the past. That is, uh, fantastic. And they're all really nice people. We've developed great relationships and friendships with them, but, uh, but none of that has anything to do with why I'm making this video right now. So right now we are going to showcase where the new middle school is being built as well as the new high school is being built in West Boynton. So full disclosure, the one con and um, the one watch out, the one thing that uh, I have to say that is somewhat negative about living in the, uh, in the canyons. When I say canyons, I mean all the canyons. And when I say uh, all the canyons, that also extends to the neighborhoods that exist in West Boynton and also West Lake Worth. Um, so Canyon Trails, Canyon Springs, Canyon Isles, Canyon Lakes, um, all of them are zoned for the same schools. But if you go outside of that, there are other schools that are, or there are other homes and communities that are impacted by this too, positively and negatively. Um, and so we're gonna pass some of those. I'll point them out on our, uh, on our little ride here. Now you can see to my left, they're building this incredible um, park, which uh, is almost finished. It's been taking a while. And I'm going to take you really quickly past Sunset Palms just to give you some context visually of how far away these things are. And then I'll show you the new middle school as well as the new um, high school that is being um, ground is either broken or the construction is uh, firing away. <clears throat> and, um, and so what those timelines look like. Now, I've talked about these new schools in the past in other videos. So right now, it's closed because it's a Sunday, but you'll get an aerial, or not an aerial, you'll get a better perspective because I got the 360 cam. This is, uh, and I'm also tracking the GPS so you'll know exactly where you are. Um, so this is, can or excuse me, this is Sunset Palms Elementary. Sunset Palms Elementary is the best elementary school in Southeast Palm Beach County. Um, right here to our right, all this land that's being cleared right now, that was um, reserve land that GL uh, designated specifically for this purpose. And this has been, I mean, this middle school has been talked about for a really long time. 
and it was approved a long time ago. And then, so now you can see, uh, you can see some heavy machinery, right? They're clearing the land, they're breaking ground. You see it's fenced off, you see they're clearing it. Um, that's great, that's progress, right? Um, this will be completed in 2023, fall of 2023. You're gonna have access, if you live in these communities, if you live in the canyons, you're going to have access to this incredible park to our left, which is almost finished. Um, and then to our right, you're gonna have the new middle school. Now, <clears throat> why is, and, and just proximity wise, this is less than two miles from the canyons. So in terms of uh, lifestyle, um, improvement, dropping your kids off and taking them to school is a heck of a lot easier when the school, which is phenomenal, is less than two miles away. Um, and if it's more than that, then it's obviously more of a pain in the ass to get your kids to school. Um, now, of course, car lines are always going to suck and they are improving the roads to handle the, uh, the new traffic. But just to give you, you know, context, you've got parks, you've got um, Canyon Town Center right there, you've got the Canyons communities to our left, and, um, and that's a really big deal. So Sunset Palms, and I did some, uh, some research. Now, I speak from experience. Uh, my eldest daughter went to Sunset Palms. And so I experienced that firsthand, or we experienced that firsthand. It is light years. It was the best experience I've had with a, uh, a an elementary school, period. The teachers are incredible. The staff is incredible. The academic program is incredible. You've got a lot of kids, a lot of teachers, and they are committed to really teaching your kids in a, at a very high level. Like this is not, you know, I've, I've heard a lot of, um, I know that there are lots of uh, schools and communities and teachers out there that are just not connected. And, um, you know, just, this isn't everybody. There's great teachers, you know, everywhere. But in some other places, there are teachers that are just, you know, checking the box and, um, you know, dialing it in. That's not the experience at, uh, at Sunset Palms. Um, so I went on great schools. It's rated um, nine out of 10 by great schools. Now, that, and it's greatschools.org if you want to check that out. Now, when I see nine out of 10, I'm confused because that was not my experience. It's a 10 out of 10. Um, when they break that, and I don't know what metrics they use to come up with that ranking, but just know that these online rankings are not necessarily, um, they're, a, I guess, a ballpark figure, but you know, there's no way Sunset Palms, and I'm sure if I did more research, I'd find more information that confirms 10 out of 10. But in terms of what the ranking system that they use is, um, it's nine out of 10 in terms of test scores. It's uh, 10 out of 10, um, or no, I'm sorry, 10 out of 10 is the highest you can be. Nine out of 10 is what they uh, rank student progress. Uh, nine out of 10 is uh, what they rank student uh, readiness. Um, so for whatever that's worth. But I can tell you, you now to our right, you got Cobblestone Commons. That would be zoned for that school too. Um, and some of the zoning that's occurring, they're going to, they're going to, if they haven't already rezone the areas so that they can, um, be zoned for these new schools that are being developed. But, uh, the big knock that I talked about previously in terms of middle school is if you live in the canyons, the big knock was, okay, great. Sunset Palms is phenomenal. Um, the school, the middle school is not right. It's a big drop off in terms of um, rankings. You've got Equus to our left. Phenomenal community, I've done lots of videos in there. Check out the playlist to see what it looks like to live in there. And to our right, we've got Palmettos. Same deal, incredible neighborhood, incredible homes. Um, lots of families, great, you know, all the things you would want when moving to or living in South Florida for your family. But again, unless you're going private, there's a, and there are great private schools that are around here too. But the middle school's uh, suboptimal, right? Well, not anymore. The new school, which will be Sunset Palms Middle, is going to be phenomenal. It's going to be a 10 out of 10, and, um, and it will be available for fall 2023. So um, 
thank God. <laughs> so I was also concerned because they've been talking about this middle school forever. There was a lot of resistance, right? So like the plan was they're building the middle school and then the middle, the middle school never happens. And it's been frustrating as a resident and even more so as a parent because my kids are getting towards middle school. They're still young in elementary school. Lions Ranches, same thing. Great community. It's going to be zoned for these schools. Um, and I'll pop in pictures of some of the homes that, that exist in those communities to give you a, a high level um, overview of what those homes look like. But again, all of these are great communities. All of these are um, where... I would want to live if I was moving to this area because they're safe, they're newer, they've got the resort style amenities, they've or amenities, they've got all the things that you would want, and uh, it's a great place to live. But again, the school. So Woodland Middle, not so great. It's ranked six out of ten uh, by great schools. Nobody wants their kid going to a, a sub a suboptimal school. I mean, I certainly don't. <coughs> But again, problem solved, new school being developed. It'll be up in 2020, fall of 2023. So that is a big, uh, that's a big deal. And uh, we're really excited about that. Um, all right, so uh, now let's move on to, now to our right, you've got uh, Valencia Shores and most of these, um, I think I might've passed another one, but the these communities are 55 plus so the schools don't matter to uh to that demographic their kids are out of school um but again the um the roadblock here was at one point the funding of these schools where the state agrees then the state doesn't agree or and so there was a, a standoff in terms of how it's going to be funded, but they um, they changed the law, right? So at first, the laws were fine for the schools to be developed. Then they changed, and it was disallowed. And now they've decided to use sales tax money instead of property tax money. And boom, there we go. You've got Savannah Estates there. Again, that is going to be a um, great place to live. Um, lots of kids in there, lots of families in there. They're going to be positively impacted by these changes. And so are basically all the communities that I'm driving past on my way to this new high school. And I'm going to keep this video short uh, or shorter than I have in the past and just keep it um, on the topic. But you can see these parcels of land that are open, they're all being developed, right? They're going to either have uh, new communities or... Um, uh, higher end retail that's being built out so that you know there's more things here that optimize your experience if you live here uh, we've got a new uh, and that's that's everywhere right and and a lot of this these pieces of parcels of land are either <clears throat> I don't believe they're zoned for residential they're zoned for commercial or whatever they're zoned for but it's not residential um, so it is what it is uh, away we go, right? So proximity wise, uh, actually, let me get my thoughts together. I talked about elementary. I talked about middle. I didn't talk about the high school. So right now the communities that I'm pointing out are, and we're passing Villaggio, great place to live. And we're going to keep on trucking. We're now in Westlake Worth. So we transitioned from Boynton and I'm going to have this on GPS. Um, we've transitioned from Boynton to Westlake Worth again all nice places to live, all great for families, all great communities, um, but the schools, right? So in the canyons, right now, uh, the high school that they're zoned for or that we're zoned for is Olympic Heights. Olympic Heights is a Boca, it's a school in West Boca. It's a good school. I mean, I'm not knocking, I've got nothing bad to say about Olympic Heights. It's actually a great school. But if you look at the rankings on grade school, it says eight out of 10, excuse me, scratch that, six out of 10. Um, I don't know where they get these rankings from because it, in my opinion, it is not a six out of 10, it's a great school. Um, and every school in Boca is a great school, but it's older, it's established, and uh, all of these schools are over capacity, right? So they need some relief, they need more schools to, with all the people who have moved here and the population explosion, we definitely need more schools. But we need great schools, we don't need average schools, and the new schools will be great. Um, 
Olympic Heights. So it's ranked six out of 10. I did some more dig digging because that doesn't make any sense to me. And when you drop down a notch, you see that their ranking for college readiness is eight out of 10 and their test scores are eight out of 10. Again, that's not in line with my experience of people. And you know, you've got a community of San Messina to our right, and then you've got Sherbrooke Estates to our left, which I've done uh, videos in the past in. And, um, well, uh, while I'm talking, uh, Sherbrooke Estates also had a golf course, a municipal golf course that was there. Not municipal, but they had a golf course that was there, was a municipal. And that burnt down, so there was, and there still is some um, uh, possibility that at some point that golf course can be developed into something else. Now, I know the residents were fighting like that, uh, fighting that like hell. I know that they had some deed restrictions and whatever, but I also know that money talks and bullshit walks. So at some point, I suspect it's highly likely that that'll be developed into something too. But you got an LA Fitness over there. You do have a, a municipal golf course to our left, which is uh, which is great. So all these communities have options, right? So how far are we away from the beach? About 15 minutes. How far are we away from golf? About five minutes. How far are we away from the schools? Well, if you live in the canyons, you're less than two, two miles to the elementary and then upcoming middle school. Again, huge deal. How far are you away from the high school? Well, Olympic Heights, Heights, Olympic Heights is, um, is further away. It's a bigger drive. It is not convenient. Um, gee, well, convenience being a relative term, I, I would like my kids to go to school as, as close to me as possible because I don't like to drive um, and neither does anybody else. But what you will see right now, uh, we are passing, this is Woodlands Middle, and is, that's where they're zoned for right now. This is uh, the school I was referencing. Again, when it's when I say suboptimal, it's you can see it's a nice school. But here is going to be the new high school. And you can see it, it is almost done. It is going to be phenomenal. And that's a big deal. You want a brand new school. When I went to Stoneman Douglas back in, well, I graduated in 93. It was a brand new school. We were the sec, we, will, we were the first group of kids who went to that school. Um, you got Andalusia. You've got all these communities to our left and you can see they're widening the roads. Well, they're widening the roads to support the traffic that exists, the traffic patterns that exist and that will become even worse when these schools open up. So you need to have uh, the infrastructure and the, uh, the, the road support to be able to accommodate all these people. And there are new communities that are popping up everywhere, Andalusia being one of them and the one next to it also. Um, but you've also got Ben Creek over here, great community. Um, but this middle, excuse me, this high school, big deal, big deal. Football stadium, all that stuff. I mean, it's gonna be, it is going to make living in West Boynton. You got Gulfstream Estate, excuse me, Gulfstream Preserve. Also, really nice homes, really nice families. They all want to have a phenomenal experience for their kids going to school, and that's what this is going to provide. So Cypress Lake Estates, great community. Um, all of these communities, West Boynton, West Lake Worth, are going to benefit from these new schools, and that is a really big deal. Uh, and again, they will be opened and ready for business fall of 2023. All right, so I am, where am I? Uh, I am, Ly I'm on Lions and Lantana, I believe. Where is this Lake Worth Road? I always get them confused. Uh, to our left, you've got the uh, National Museum of the Polo Hall of Fame. And uh, actually, the land for the high school was uh, purchased uh, from a um, former Coca-Cola executive who is very heavy in the uh, in the polo community, and um, and he sold that land a long time ago to uh, to the um, to the county to um, to develop these schools, right? So. Finally, after, you know, after a lot of talk, after a lot of debate at the state level, after a lot of political um, wrangling, 
and um, and also had a lot of supply chain issues. Finally, we are getting some resolution, and I can speak for um, well, I can speak with integrity and accuracy when I say I now know what the timelines are. The new high school, the new middle school, which are going to be phenomenal, uh, will be here fall of 2023. So the big knock on the canyons again was that there was a drop off or a perceived drop off in school and educational experience as you got past elementary. Boom, problem solved, doesn't exist. Moving forward, 2023, you got the best elementary, Sunset Palms. You'll have the best middle school, which will be Sunset Middle, Sunset Palms Middle, and the best high school, which I don't know that there's a name yet at this point. And if there is, I'll pop it in. I don't know what it is, um, but it's gonna be phenomenal too. So if you're even thinking about moving to or living in South Florida, you've got to give me a call. Text me, DM, send a carrier pigeon, a smoke signal, by any means necessary. Because we've got your back when it comes to moving to or living in South Florida. And until next time, well, scratch. Rewind that. Um, separate to that. Don't sleep on the relocation guide. If you're not familiar with the area and you want to learn about every city that exists in South Florida, click the link. It's down below uh, for that relocation guide. I'll pop it in at the top of the uh, screen here so you can uh, you can check that out. But it's going to tell you about every city in South Florida. And uh, it is very high quality information, which will help you uh, determine some more information about where you might want to be. And then um, also don't sleep on the playlist, right? The playlist, I've built out content of every community and I continue to provide an immersive experience in all the communities that exist here in South Florida. So if it's very likely I've already covered the place that you're thinking about moving. And if I haven't, then let me know and I'll be happy to do that because we want to provide you as a 40 year South Florida resident. I know every place that exists in South Florida and it's very easy for me to help guide you in that process once you've got a 5,000 foot overview. And the relocation guide, the content will help you establish that framework. So that's what we're looking to do. If there's anything we can do to help, give me a call, call immediately. We are here to help serve and support you at the highest level, get you what you want, get you the best deal possible. And it starts with you reaching out. So do that now. And until next time, peace.